Hey, welcome to the shop, everyone. Well, I finally got it done. I finally got that Ella Brock RPM air gap intake manifold port match to those AFR 265 airflow research heads. Now, if I were to take anything away from this project was the scribe lines you see there, probably would have been smarter to scribe them about a sixteenth of an inch smaller because it's just so easy to um, grind to those lines and go over them. But anyways, uh, I have learned, I can't seem to learn that lesson. I've done it time and time again, but anyways, did the best it could. So here's some of the things I used to do the job and that sand roll kit there you can get from Harbor Freight. It comes with a little mandrel that screws into those little pods and that's what I did the majority of the work with, smoothing everything out, contouring it. But what I did want to tell you about is this flapper wheel. Now, they don't sell that, but I find this flapper wheel just so handy that I'm actually gonna make one right quick. And uh, that's what I do a lot of the blending with, the final blending. It just makes everything just so, just brings everything together on the job. So another thing as these uh, sand rolls, as you use them up, there's still a lot of good sandpaper left on those. And so that's what I'll do is I'll take an old sand roll, I'll rip the part off, rip rip the other edge off and that's what I'll use for that flapper wheel so you can get a you know, little more product out of your uh, sand roll kit. So there's some quarter inch rod I had laying around in the shop and we're gonna cut that into about uh, I don't know seven inch piece the old bandsaw over here. Now I have made these little flapper wheels even with quarter inch uh, bolts like a long shank bolt that maybe be five inches long four inches long and then you just use the hacksaw to uh, put the slot in it but since I had this quarter inch uh, rod laying around we're just gonna make it out of that just using my sander here just to uh, sand the ends and you know taper the edges now since it's so crusty and rusty I'm gonna stick it in my mill here and just use some uh, Scotch-Brite to uh, Polish it up a little bit, make it a little bit nicer. All right, so now you can use a hacksaw to do the same thing. I'm just using my bandsaw because I have one, and just I'm just trying to keep it centered. And then I'm probably going to machine it or cut it till it's about a, a inch, a little bit over an inch slot. And you can do that with a hacksaw just as easy. And then if it's not wide enough for your sandpaper to go into it, I'll use like a small screwdriver as a wedge and spread it a little bit. And again, you can fold that sandpaper over and slide it down in there and it holds it nicely. And I do, I just find that a very handy tool for all kinds of things. Uh, Say you wanted to clearance something you could actually use that because the centrifugal force kind of keeps it nice and centered and so it you know it takes material off you know somewhat evenly just because of the centrifugal force so i'm going to put a little die grinder there and so just to show you here's like a old brass bearing that i had and uh just see how it blends it so nicely I just find it, you know, a very, very useful tool. I, I use it a lot. All right, see how nicely blended that is? And if you need to clearance something, something like that, like if you don't have a lathe, uh, you could use that. And that's how I did the finishing of these, the port match on the intake manifold was using that flapper wheel. All right, so I glued the intake uh, gaskets on the engine with some of that uh, weather stripping. Then I took an exacto knife, I think they call it, and I just trimmed the uh, AFR intake gaskets just to make sure there wasn't anything overhanging. Then I used that little square again, and what I want to do is I want to run that line all the way up to the top where I can see these lines. So when I set the intake manifold on there, I have a reference of you know where the intake will line up best with the ports and how I port matched it. 
So now I'm just test fitting it. I'm sitting it on there, just kind of seeing how everything looks. Thing looks pretty nice. See, there's the scribe marks. We're lining everything up to the scribe marks. Now on the signal plane, it takes it a little bit easier to get everything to line up because you can see down in the ports. And I guess if you had one of those, I don't know what they're called, those little telescopic cameras you can stick down ports, you'd probably do the same thing with it. So those are the ARP uh, nuts or, or bolts that I bought for the uh, intake manifold. But I'm sorry to say I wasn't able to use them. So I ran down to the hardware store and bought some stainless steel bolts and the reason being is these uh you know the thread depth uh and that's even without the washer and i really like running a washer and so i just bought some stainless steel bolts from the hardware store and since they're made out of stainless steel i can use my buffer and polish them up to make them look like chrome and they'll never rust because they're out of that stainless steel so i guess one fixed up here show it to you ah looking pretty nice all right, so get that silicon on that valley. I don't ever seem to run that gasket that comes with the intake manifold gaskets for that. I usually just fill it with that silicon. All right, gonna set the intake manifold on there. Being careful to get my marks to line up. looking nice all right so the bolts go into the heads where there's oil at so I want to put a little bit of silicon on there so no oil can come up through the threads for those bolts get all the bolts installed now the tightening of the intake I go through this procedure probably four times, just a little bit at a time, cinching it down on the engine until finally they are good and tight. All right, so this part of the engine build is done. We got that Elebrock RPM air gap intake port matched to those AFR265 cylinder heads. We got it bolted on there, and uh, we hope you all enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like, uh, subscribe if you'd like to, ring the bell, share, do all those things. And as always, we appreciate y'all so much for watching. Thanks so much.